Welcome everyone to another video, I hope you guys doing well because I have a really simple and small house tutorial in Minecraft. So if you want to know how to build it, please watch this video till end. With that say, grab your notes and let's get started. Ok everyone, after creating our starting layer, we first gonna focus on these stripped oak logs. So, we're gonna go on this last square and place sandstone walls, three on each uh, stripped oak block. And after that we're gonna place some sandstone walls. And immediately we're gonna go on this square here and gonna place a one sandstone wall and gonna place a stripped oak block. Now, for these oak logs here, first we're gonna start with this uh, entrance here. So here, uh, this oak logs here are gonna represent a stairs. So first we're gonna place one more on this, then three more on this side, and then four more of this will total five blocks. This three here, this is gonna represent again a stairs from one house to another house. So we're gonna first start with five, total of five, and then this four are, are gonna be a total of seven blocks. All right, now we're gonna first start with the stairs, especially. If you are in survival mode, just pay attention to what I'm doing, I will go really slowly and hope you guys can catch me up. By the way, comment down below in which mode you're gonna build this house, so it could help me with future tutorials. Alright guys, now we are creating the most important part for the house, so please guys pay attention. What we want to do here is to take a smooth sandstone block and go in this square where we have like extensions and place uh, five blocks like this. So three to be in the, uh, in the, in the row where are these extensions or pillars and to on, to be on the side and now you're gonna uh, replicate the shape that I do for uh, you guys which I'm gonna add on the screen or you can just watch what I'm doing okay now we have that shape now we want to extend one more frame of the house. So to do that, first on this unconnect box, extend one full block. Then you want to take a smooth sense on slab and place three on the down half block in the middle. After that, you're going to take a smooth sense on stairs and place and towards us from down like normal and upside down towards us on this upper part of the shape and after that just simply you're gonna take a sandstone stairs and first gonna place um, sorry gonna place upside down uh, one like this and one like this from this side similar thing from the upper part of the shape place normal towards outside like this basically your final shape of the house should look like this and now repeat these frames to another side of this uh, side and to this uh, square here
Now it's time to close up our houses but before that if you guys truly want to support my channel don't forget to subscribe to me and turn on the notification bell so YouTube will recommend our future tutorials to you guys. With that said let's continue with the tutorial. So to close up the house it's really simple. All you need to do is in this middle part here where we have full blocks just close it up with the oak planks and whenever we have these three slabs on the top connect with the slabs do that at the bottom and now all the empty space here you just have, gonna have stairs and on the upper part of the structure just go normal stairs and on the down part of the structure go upside down stairs now before we start with the interior uh, what we first should do is to basically destroy two blocks like this just to get uh, entry three blocks here and again two blocks here just to have an entrance to our buildings now we're gonna close it up this sides uh, or side holes uh, just simply adding a three pillars like this so from the bottom connect till the top and then on the midpoint here we're gonna connect on one like this. So now do that on each side. And now before we adding a glass pane, what we could do is to destroy the mid section of the slabs and just add a one more block like this and adding two lanterns on it so we have a better source of light. It could cost you a few slabs, sorry for that, but it is a lot better option for your house. And now as you guys could, could guess is just simply get a glass pane and fill it up everywhere. Believe me not, we are really close to finish this house. So let's start with the entrance and creating just simple two birch doors. Then we can take an oak slab and my bad, oak slab not petrified. And then just simply place two slabs so you can have easy access without jumping. And here also, after that, just take a spruce slabs and on the same high level as these oak logs, place two. Then we're gonna place two uh, spruce stairs like this and one more row. And just fill it up with a spruce slabs like this. And we can add a birch fence gate. So we, you could also do uh, birch doors if you want. I'm gonna do a uh, birch fence gate. And after that, just gonna simply take a sandstone wall and place two like this on the side. We could destroy even one stair like this and place one more. And we can also destroy one here and place three, I mean one row of three walls. And we could also place a lantern on it so we have even better source of light. Now it's time to decorate our interior. Just as always, please follow my steps if you want to uh, have a house like I did, if you want to do your stuff, I'm completely fine with that. I'm 
really happy to tell you guys that you successfully finished this house but now we're gonna do something around the house this is really optional if you really like the idea so first we're gonna create some uh, small pond for your fishes so just simply cut a hole as big as you want so that as much as you're gonna uh, cut as much that your pond gonna uh, be big so basically cut randomize some hole inside uh, in front of your house after we have a one cut we're gonna have one more smaller cut here Then uh, what you want to do first is take a granite and with the slabs and granite full blocks just rather make an outline around your first cut. Okay, after that you're gonna take a rather nice place in dirt and sand is then the instead of this uh, grass block it just it don't get me wrong this is why I don't place these materials in your material list because this is really optional and you could use whatever material you, you wish to if you like this idea. After we finish creating our custom ground, we're gonna take a water bucket and fill it up everywhere. After we finish filling our water, you're simply gonna take a seagrass, few coral, uh, few corals, uh, leather pads, and of course sea pickles, and put the run mice in our small ponds. After we finish the pond. What you could do also is to take an oak fence and create an outline around the pond and under, around the house to protect yourself from the mobs. So to create a, a custom gate we could use an oak fence and we could use a oak logs and place a spruce trap door on it. And what we could do also is from using cobblestone and gravel we can create a path from the stairs to the entrance of the gate. And now using our favorite plants and leaves we could decorate around uh, this in interior where we have a grass. And there it is guys, I'll show you how to create this real simple and small house. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you who watched this video till end and I hope you enjoy every moment of this video and if this tutorial was useful please leave a like, comment down below what you think about this house and would you build it on your world and don't forget to subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and especially turn on the notification bell so the next or future tutorials will be in your recommendation list with that say see you next video peace